You know what anarchy is, and you know what tyranny is. What happens when you combine them? Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and I learned a term, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe a couple months now, I don't remember, uh, that I thought was super, super helpful, and that is, of course, anarchy tyranny, or tyranny anarchy, or I'm going to say anarchy tyranny. And it's this term to describe the current state of affairs in our nation. Uh, so on one hand, you have tyranny, right? You have, which we're all familiar with at this point, but you have a, an oppressive government that's here to lord rules over you, not to protect you or to keep you safe or to generally order society, but simply to make your life difficult and make you obey their will so that they are the master, you are the servant, and they can profit and benefit from your subservience, right? That's tyranny. And we've seen that, uh, I mean, COVID obviously being one of the biggest examples in recent memory was pretty bad and it's, it's all over the place, right? So we understand tyranny pretty well in America. Then there's the anarchy part, which in general, we do not. And in the past couple of years, again, with COVID and riots and all this stuff, you've started to see that where there's just, it's anarchy in the streets, right? You have riots. In Minneapolis, when they had the George Floyd riots, right? They burned down a police precinct. The police abandoned the precinct. Mob went in and burned it to the ground. At the time, I lived a couple miles away, all right? So that anarchy, if that's not anarchy, again, really not sure what is. So you, you have these. Now, when you combine them, that's the current state of affairs that we reach, which is you have the uh, thugs in the street, right, doing the anarchy, burning down businesses and buildings and police precincts and all this stuff. And then you have the tyranny where the government will enforce laws against that kind of stuff, but only if you do it. And if they do it, well, you know, there's, there's not actually any enforcement or consequences, right? How many people were arrested for burning down the police precinct in Minneapolis, I would ask you. So you now live in this time where you are squeezed from both ends. The government is here to uh, oppress you because you're an American or you like the Betsy Ross flag or you have a Gadsden flag or, or whatever. You're, you're a potential extremist, right? There's a problem here when you start believing in liberty and quoting the Constitution, right? That, that's a problem. And then at the same time, you have to fight off the people that hate you and want your blood and will gladly riot in the streets at the slightest provocation. So we enter this time where then you're, you start to get squeezed from both ends, right? The government is here to oppress you and make sure that you follow the laws as they determine them, but then they don't apply those same laws to the people that are knocking on your door to try to burn your house down. And so it's this compression where you get squeezed from both ends. And I think it's a very accurate descriptor of our current culture and where things stand and the kind of life that we're gonna to have to live in for a while now. You know, I used to teach a permit to carry law uh, for like seven years, quite a while. And back then, uh, when I taught that, you know, I was very concerned about what the law says and, and you want to follow the law and you want to make sure that if you get in a, a shooting, it's legal. And that if you have to go to court, it's defensible and all this kind of thing. But over the past couple of years, um, I've realized that, of course, the, the law at this point is not applied equally or fairly or justly or with equity. Uh, rather, the law is applied in an extremely biased manner uh, towards the left, right? So if, if, of course, you are considered a part of the left conglomerate, whatever that means, uh, the law will not be applied to you in the same way that it would be applied to someone like me or like you. Uh, whereas the law will be applied with harshness and directness to someone that is not politically aligned with the establishment, it will of course be lenient to those that are politically aligned with the establishment. So in part because of that, over the past couple of years, I quit teaching permit to carry because I realized it is a fruitless endeavor and I am not equipping people with accurate knowledge on how to navigate through those circumstances. Rather, I'm just telling them what the things say in the book but that's not what it's out. That's not what's reality, right? Reality is not what the law is on paper. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So as you enter this new era of history, and again, I won't be alive, but I would love to read history on this era in about 100, 200 years from now. I would love to see what the history says about this era. And as we enter this era, I think it would behoove you to consider this change in circumstances 
and how you think about uh, defensive tactics, defensive procedures, uh, just generally survival. You need to remember that you're always going to get squeezed from both ends. You're going to get squeezed from the long-term uh, government oppression end, right, where they're long-term looking for you, looking for a way to imprison you for wandering through the Capitol building when they set it up to begin with, because that's what we're finding out now, which not like we all didn't know that. <sighs> okay, that's probably another video. And you're also going to get squeezed from the, again, blood in the streets, thuggery, right? And, and those are both coming for you. So don't make the mistake of thinking that you somehow live in a society where laws are applied fairly or justly. Remember that unfortunately, there, there are people that hate you on both ends of those spectrum and they're both coming for you one way or another. Man, that's bleak. I do not think that a society can exist long in this anarchy tyranny stage. How do I know that? Well, I'm basing that off historical examples, right? Like the fall of the Roman Republic, uh, was, was such a case, right, where they, they had hired thugs that they would go out in the streets and cause riots and problems for their political purposes, right? This is nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun. And eventually, the republic collapsed, and there was an empire that came after it, right? But there was something after. My point is there's always something after. And this anarchy tyranny stage, just by its nature, because it's so volatile, it, it, it is going to be short-lived. Now, what does that mean, 20, 50, 60 years? I don't know. Maybe something like that but I don't think it'll go much beyond that. Remember the times that you live in, like have your head up, don't bury your head like an ostrich, and just realize that we live in a time of anarchy tyranny. And that might mean, it might not, but it might mean you have to adjust some of the ways that you plan to live your life for the next however long that is. Think about it. Do brave deeds and endure.